Could interest rates, which are meant to make buying homes more affordable, actually drive housing prices higher? It's a question worth asking as we look ahead at potential changes to rates by the Federal Reserve. We all know the drill by now. When the Fed cuts rates, borrowing gets cheaper. That's great, right? Well, not so fast. Every action has a reaction, and when rates drop, more people flood the market eager to buy homes. Back in the pandemic, the Fed slashed rates to keep the economy going. What followed? Inflation did, leading the Fed to hike those rates again. Now we're looking at potential rate cuts once more, but could this new wave of cuts end up driving housing prices through the roof? Let's take that apart. Right now, borrowing costs are steep. We're talking near 20-year highs. It's tough on everyone, from developers trying to finance projects to buyers facing doubled interest rates compared to just a few years ago. For context, in states like California, where the average home price hovers around $900,000, this means buyers have been stepping back, mostly simply can't afford to buy right now. But once rates drop, all those potential buyers could rush back. What happens then? That's where things get tricky. Will lower rates bring back the buyers? According to Danielle Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com, and she's a good one, we can expect rate cuts before the year ends. In fact, they might be bigger than initially thought. There's a lot of talk about that going on. But let's be clear, a dramatic cut isn't guaranteed. Right now, mortgage rates sit around 6.5, and we may see a slight dip to 6.3 by year's end. Could even beat that. It's not a huge drop, but it could bring back some buyers into the fold. Churchill Mortgage estimates, get this, that for every 1% drop in mortgage rates, an additional 5 million buyers qualify for loans. So even a small dip might make a huge, huge difference. Is that enough to trigger a price surge? Well, it depends. Hannah Jones, another expert at Realtor.com, points out that 86% of homeowners already have mortgage rates below 6%. So for the market to really heat up, rates would need to drop even further to push current homeowners to sell or new buyers to dive in. The Fed is balancing this carefully. They don't want too big a cut that floods the market with buyers, pushing home prices even higher. Instead, they're aiming for that Goldilocks zone where rates are low enough to encourage buying, but not low enough to drive prices up too quickly. So what does that mean for you and me? Here's the reality. When rates drop, buyers have to make a choice. Do they jump into a competitive market with lower rates or wait it out hoping for better conditions later? Lower rates are great for buyers' wallets, but they come with a catch, more competition. That means bidding wars and potentially paying over asking price. But if you're in the market, Cassandra Happy from Wallet Hub advises acting strategically. The key, be ready to move when the opportunity arises, a small rate drop could save you a lot in the long term. Here's the takeaway. Even a modest rate cut can bring savings over time when you're financing hundreds of thousands of dollars for 30 years. So if you're looking to buy, locking in a home sooner rather than later may be a smart move, especially if rates continue the downward trend. Here's the payoff. At the end of the day, it's all about balance. While interest rate cuts might not instantly skyrocket home prices, they can increase competition, and as more buyers enter the market, prices could rise, and they will. We've seen it. We've all seen it. The trick is to act strategically and be ready for any shifts in the market. By the way, if you're thinking about moving or you need help navigating the housing market, no matter where you are in the country, send me a text or an email. I'm part of a network that spans the U.S., and we can help you find the right place. If you're getting value from my videos and you want to be the first to learn about the change in real estate market, hit subscribe and tap the bell. That'll help both of us. Thanks so much. See you later. Talk to you soon.